I've said this before, but it bears repeating because it's a concept a lot of people can't really wrap their head around. The most dangerous enemy that you will ever have is the one you don't know you have. The most dangerous weapon they will have is the one you don't know they have. There's been this opinion out there that the current leader doesn't telegraph his moves. Really? That's interesting. We have an issue here at home, though. Don't be this guy. If you want to hang on to your weapons, if you want to really be a force for change, if you really, in the coming Civil War, want to be someone to be reckoned with, to be able to protect your family, you need to be that guy. You need to be thinking four and five and six steps ahead. Now, a lot of people mispronounce my channel. It's the Florida Maki, M-A-Q-U-I-S, Noir. The reason I named it that, a lot of people have made the allegation that it's about the Star Trek Maki. Well, yes and no, they took that name from the French Maquis, who really got their start from the Spanish Maquis. Now, this is a very little-known group, but I want to ask you guys a question. When you watch all of your World War II documentaries, how many great World War II battles were fought in Spain? You can think of some in France, you can think of some in Germany, you can think Belgium, you can think the Battle of the Bulge, you don't really think much about Spain, even though it's an incredibly tactical place to have troops if you were going to overrun Europe. Uh, one of the most important places to control would have been Spain. The Spanish Maquis were resistance fighters. And I just want to read this to you for effect to give you an idea of how effective this resistance was. During the German occupation of France, the Spanish Maquis engineered more than 400 railway sabotages, destroyed 58 locomotives, dynamited 35 railway bridges, cut 150 telephone lines, attacked 20 factories, destroying some totally, sabotaged 15 coal mines, took several thousand German prisoners, and most miraculously, considering their arms, which were pretty much single-shot, old um, weapons, they captured three tanks. In the southwest part of France, where no Allied armies ever fought, they liberated more than 17 towns. The most effective resistance organization ever, by far, and most people don't know anything about them. This is the root of the channel. The Florida Maquis. Now, if you want to really have an effective chance of winning, you're going to have to learn how to think like your enemy. If you're worried about having your weapons. I want you to consider something. Now imagine, if you will, this piece of PVC with all, all the holes in the side. Hole in the top's fine. No holes in the side. And think of an opening big enough that you might be able to slide something long and skinny and important down into it. Not saying specifically which caliber, or I mean, uh, what type of items to put in there. It's 
Sorry about this. Where did my picture go? Anyway, get yourself a post hole digger and dig yourself a nice big hole. Well, as far as post holes go. Let's say five feet should be plenty. And once you have this type of item secured properly, get yourself something nice and pretty to cover the hole. You got a wife, you got a daughter, you got a girlfriend, they'll love this. Something really nice and kitschy for the front lawn. And then is the icing on the cake. Yeah, I know, I feel like, no way, not me, man. You've got to start thinking like a terrorist. You've got to start thinking like a resistance fighter. You want to attract attention away from yourself? Throw one of these in your front yard. Throw one of these bumper stickers on your car. And let your friends laugh. Let them. And while the government's kicking down their door, taking their stuff, you'll have a nice little stash. Don't be this guy online. Don't be this guy in your neighborhood. Don't be this guy ever. You might as well just paint a sign on the front of your house saying, here, come get them. There's lots of them. And they will. They'll wait till you're asleep. They'll wait till you're at work. They'll wait till you're out to dinner with your family. They'll wait until you're doing 38 and a 35 and pull you over for um, reckless driving. When you get upset, they'll say that you're mentally ill and then it's over. Don't be this guy. Be that guy. Tell them what they want to hear. Or don't tell them anything. It's not hard once you realize you're at war. Once you realize what the stakes are. You're going to have to make some choices about whether you want to feel good about your online profile, about who you are and what you believe, or whether you're willing to trade that for actual operational advantage on the ground. These guys knew how to do it. They made the Nazis' life a living nightmare in Spain, with very little, comparatively speaking, to the Blitzkrieg. It was some place the Nazis did not venture because they did not win and they could not win against enemies they didn't know they had. The term Maquis comes from a Spanish root meaning shrub or bush. That's why they got the name. That's how ubiquitous they are. That's how un inscrutable they were. And if you're going to win against an overreaching, dictatorial, tyrannical government, you're going to have to learn to play by different roles. And just to show you down here, the term Maquis comes from the French term Maquis, which in turn comes from the Corsican terms Machia, the Maquis shrubland. Just indescribable amounts of greenery that you cannot distinguish from any other. There's a mural in Barcelona to the Spanish Maquis and what they were able to achieve. I'm going to be starting up a uh, Patreon here pretty quick. And it doesn't have anything to do with YouTube demonetizing or not demonetizing. It's just 
there's going to be some things I'm going to cover on my Patreon that are going to be more specific to um, psychological operations than current affairs in either South America or military operations here. So, anyway, I'll leave it there. Be that guy. Don't be that guy. Like, share, subscribe.